Time and again, Ho Chi Minh, the aging North Vietnamese president, had proclaimed that the Vietnamese people were prepared to fight for 20 years. He insisted they would pay any price to reunite Vietnam and drive out the Americans. Privately, however, Ho and most of the Hanoi leadership had come to believe that the war could not go on in the same way for much longer. The problem was not just the casualty rate in the South, estimated by the Americans to be at least 5,000 troops dead every month. Such losses could be sustained for a long time yet. The biggest fear was that the safe base areas in Laos and Cambodia, or perhaps even in the north itself, might soon be invaded by the Americans. There were also worries about how well the morale of the population would stand up to a bombing campaign that might go on for years. The North's leaders foresaw that they might have to negotiate with the Americans sooner or later. But before that happened, they were determined to make one more attempt to win the war on the battlefield. In July 1967, the Politburo, led by Party First Secretary Lee Duan, proposed an all-out offensive in South Vietnam, timed for early 1968. Up to recently, command of the war effort in the South had been divided between General Jap, who controlled the North Vietnamese Army's campaigns, and General Tan, who ran the war further south. And there had been disagreement between them about the planned offensive. But just as preparations got underway, General Tan died of heart disease in a Hanoi hospital. For years afterward, it was thought in the West that he died as the result of an American bombing raid on his southern headquarters. As well as the loss of a charismatic leader and the shock to the Viet Cong's command, it was an ironic turn. Now Jap was solely responsible for planning the entire campaign.